What's up, everyone? Hope you guys are having a better week than I am. Um, uh, I'm actually sick right now. I've been sick since today is um, Monday, Monday afternoon, and I've been sick since Friday afternoon. <clears throat> Literally spent my whole weekend uh, just in my bed at my desk um, and uh, trying to get better. So, uh, it always happens in this time of the year. I always get sick. I always get really bad allergies. <clears throat> and um, yeah, I don't know if I got a, I had a flu or a cold, but I was coughing. I have like when I wake up in the morning, I have a sore throat, uh, runny nose, uh, sneezing. It's just like the worst feeling. Uh, I have a lot of like fatigue and and uh, and stuff like that. So I'm trying to get better. I've just been uh, kind of just uh, here at home, just trying to work from home and and trying to stay active but um yeah it's hard um as you guys can probably tell from the title i wanted to make a video today just kind of talking about um the five best ways that i think if you're going through depression um these are the best ways that i think is what helped me especially um for those that don't know i went through depression i there was a time in my life my early 20s when i was depressed um because you know everything that i um felt like I tried, I failed on, I had dreams, um, I had, you know, a relationship, and I lost it all, and so it, it led me to a really uh, dark place in my life, um, and I, you know, was depressed and stuff, and um, yeah, I don't really, I haven't really told everyone all the details about my life, uh, about, you know, what happened, but, you know, maybe in the future, if I ever get comfortable enough to do it, I will, you know, say it, but um, yeah, see, these are the what like the best things that helped me the most. Um, you know, I know there's something that, especially male depression, is something that a lot of people don't like to talk about. Us men, um, you know, don't like to talk about it. But you know, it's it's something that is out there. You know, and every day there's you know different men going through it. And so I just wanted to help that person because um, I know what it feels like um, you know to be depressed and not really have hope um, and to not really have any motive in life um, so yeah this if that is something that you're going through or um, you know I hope what you know what I say in this video will help you um, so yeah these are the top five ways that I beat depression the first one is to realize that you're not alone um, when you're going through depression, you kind of feel like you're going through it alone. You kind of feel like nobody cares. Um, you kind of feel like, you know, um, you feel like, you know, everyone is against you. Um, yeah, it's just a very dark feeling. Um, but once you realize that you're not alone, um, that, you know, there's, you know, thousands, maybe even millions of people out in the world, not only in this country, but in all the, all these other countries, um, that are, you know, going through the same thing you are, probably even worse, worse situations, right? Um, once you start realizing that, you start telling yourself, okay, Luis, you know, or whoever, whatever your name is, um, you know, stop, stop, you know, thinking negative and let's, let's get on it. You know, you, you feel like shit right now. You don't have any motive. You feel like a failure, but you're not going to stay like this. You're going to keep going. Um, and, you know, that kind of helps me, you know, knowing that I'm not alone, you know what I mean? And knowing that, the harder the story and the more you struggle, the more beautiful the outcome and the more beautiful the glory, you know. So um, once you start realizing that, it'll help you as you're going through it. Um, the second way I would say is to find your passion and, or like hobbies that you are passionate about or that you love. Um, you know, for me, it was, you know, going to the gym, um, going for runs, um, you know, um, learning about real estate, um, you know, even... Um, you know, just reading books, um, you know, learning about fitness, all that stuff is kind of what helps me, you know, with my passions. Um, I, you know, um, like to go on hikes as well. That's something that I would look forward to. When you, when you start um, getting habit, I mean, uh, hobbies, you know, that you're passionate about, or you, you find your passion, my passion is real estate. Um, and, or just, you know, just feel like I'm doing a purpose. That's my passion. Like, that's the reason why I made this YouTube, you know, channel in, in the first place was because, you know, this is kind of why I'm passionate about. I want to feel like I'm actually living with a purpose, you know? And so, um, yeah, once you find your passion and your hobbies, I feel like it's going to help you distract yourself from, you know, that, 
that voice in the back of your head telling you that, you know, you're a piece of shit or, you know, you're not worth living, you know, it's just, you know, horrible thoughts. Um, when you start looking, when you start getting, so like what helped to me is like, if I, when I started reading, um, and I'm a dropout guys, I, I, I hated reading. Um, I started getting into reading when I was like, I think 23, um, I'm 27 now. So, um, and you know, it's, it changed me. It changed because I didn't have any mentors growing up. I, I come from a poor background, uh, poor, you know, family background. None of my family's wealthy. And so, you know, there was nobody really there to teach me how to, you know, be better or anything like that. Um, and so, you know, I kind of, when I started reading, that was kind of like my mentor. Uh, my first book that I read was Rich Dad, Poor Dad. That taught me a lot. Um, Atomic Habits is a great one as well. And so when you start, you know, uh, getting, putting in your mind and start getting that routine and, and transforming them into habits about, you know, uh, let's say, you know, you know that it's a routine and a habit now that every day at 9 a.m. or 9.30 or 10, you're going to go to the gym that's something you look forward to in the next day me personally i trade stocks in the morning so like i'll wake up at 6 a.m i'll read my bible that's one thing that i look forward to and then i'll i'll go ahead and uh, jump on you know brush my teeth obviously and all that and then i'll sit down here and i'll start looking at the stock market and, and uh you know just start trading some stocks if i see an opportunity that i feel like i can make some money does it always go my way no but i mean when in life does everything go your way you know what i mean that's the beauty about it's that everything is a challenge you know and so that challenge is what i kind of really like about the stock market so um but yeah that's something that i look forward to i look forward to waking up at 6 a.m so that i can read my bible and then i can sit down and trade some stocks and hopefully make some money and then after that i'll get my coffee and then i'll go to the gym and then after that i'll come back i'll make my protein shake and then i'll hop in a shower relax get changed and then start my day that is like what i look forward to and when you start adopting those like routines or those habits you start look looking forward to living you know what i mean because when you're depressed you kind of you're like I what's the point of living i'm gonna wake up at 10 a.m or 11 a.m and then just watch netflix and just let the day go by and i don't like it's like that's a depressing life you know what i mean so you got to start building those good routines start finding your passion and start finding good hobbies you know whether if it's going on hikes whether if it's golfing whether if it's um i don't know i've been watching formula one like recently like just show, just seeing like how these people are so like passionate about you know racing is just so cool you know and um you know, um, I was watching a, uh, a show since I, I was sick this whole weekend, this weekend. And then this is the reason why I kind of made this video. It kind of reminded me of my depressed days because um, I was just literally laying on my bed most of the most of the day um, trying to rest my body, trying to recuperate and uh, and watching Netflix. So but, you know, I always try to watch stuff on Netflix that actually will teach me something, you know. So I watched The Pursuit of Happiness, which was really, really, really great movie. Um, I watched the Formula One and also I watched this. I think it's called um, Human Playground. I think it's called. I recommend it. It's about just different types of sports that us humans have made. Um, and that still goes on. It's like traditional sports. And even it, it still goes on till today. Um and it just shows you like those passions, you know, like what people are passionate about and why they do what they do. Find your passion and, and, and do something that you're, look f you're looking forward to day in and day out. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, the third one is to fall in love with the struggle and the pain. Um, and this one is kind of like probably the hardest one to, you know, want to... Uh, learn or want to conquer is to fall in love with the pain with the struggle um you know once you start realizing that the, the best stories the greatest battles the greatest anything that was great um did not come easy it wasn't something that was just easy for someone and then you know everyone just talks about it and says oh my god that was so great like no everything that was great was was fought through a hard was with a lot of pain and was with a lot of struggle you know so once you fall in love with it you realize that hey i'm struggling right now i'm in pain but i love this i love this pain i love this struggle and i'm gonna conquer it and i'm just gonna you know bring it on whatever it is that you you know 
that life throws at me, bring it on, you know, because um, I'm a Christian and, you know, I, I always say that God gives his hardest battles to his strongest sh- uh, soldiers, sorry. So, um, you know, just that mindset is, you know, shifting your mindset from like, oh, I'm depressed, you know, I'm, um, I got nothing going on in my life, I'm a loser, to, you know, hey, I'm struggling, I'm in pain, but I'm learning, I'm getting stronger, and um, I know, like, there's going to be a great, you know, uh, story behind this. You know, even even to the point where it's like, you can even share this to your future kids if you plan on having any like that's a great enough story to to go through the pain you know what i mean so that you're able to share that experience with your kids you know what i mean um because they'll admire that they'll admire that like who wants to have a dad or um or an uncle or whatever that just had a life very easily and is weak nobody does you know like they want they want a dad that's strong that's bold that went through a lot of struggles and conquered it um, a good example, pretty much. So, <clears throat> um, number four is to take risks. Um, you know, um, when you're depressed, you kind of feel like you, everything you try, it, it leads to failure, right? Or like you feel like there's no point in trying. And that's, like I said, that voice behind your head, like I said, you know, I'm Christian, so I know it's Satan talking to you telling you or his demons telling you that you're not good enough you know why are you going to do that you're going to fail and there's no point in trying you know and so when you start saying like you know what i don't care what this voice is telling me or whatever i don't care what you know the odds are i'm going to try this i'm going to risk this that's when you start like getting somewhere in life you know what i mean so one risk that could be like that you uh buy a house you know like when i was 25 um, and I bought my house, you know, I bought it, you know, um, alone. Like I don't, I don't have a, a wife or anything like that. Like, you know, um, you know, more, it's like, I see a lot of people that have wives, um, or have girlfriends, um, boyfriends, whatever, and they don't want to buy a house and yet they're, they're able to qualify. And I'm like, I mean, unless you plan on like, like moving soon like that's why you don't want to commit there to that place i understand that but if you're literally renting for like three years in that same house why not and you can qualify for a house why not buy a house it just makes it doesn't make any sense like they say when you're renting it's a hundred percent interest rather than when you're when you're um when you're paying down your debt i mean that your value of your house is still there in five years if you want to sell that house most likely you'll make money it's like you know what I mean? It's it just it, and it's all of that, like fear. Imagine how I felt, you know, when I had to send in all my documents on, you know, um, to the W twos, the bank statements, the you know, pay stubs, all that stuff, in order for me to get qualified. I could have easily been like, you know what? I don't want to do this. I'm 25. I'm young. I'm just gonna like save my money that I'm gonna use as a down payment and just you know travel or whatever. No, because you're thinking about your future self. You're thinking about something that you're gonna be proud of when you get older, um, something that you are going to, um, be thankful that you, uh, that you did. And I am thankful that I did that. You know what I mean? So, um, and this is me going off topic. I'm over here talking about real estate. That's how, you know, I have a passion for it. Right. But, um, um, yeah. And the, the last, but definitely, definitely not the least is to find God guys i kid you not i don't care what society says nowadays i don't care what you see on the news i don't care what you see what's the trend or whatever guys there's a reason why this world is so lost and it's so messed up and if you actually look at you know if you actually look at like celebrities that have a lot of money or you know uh famous people or rich people that have a lot of money but yet they're, you know, not happy or they're just, you know, they don't don't find that peace, peace in their mind is because they don't have God in their life. You know, like what helped me go through my depression was when I was I had faith in God. You know, I never lost that faith. And I think that's what that's what God sees. And that's what God loves the most. And he'll bless you the most when he sees that, when he sees, because at the end of the day, we all have free will. Right this this loss this world is a is a fallen world you know there's sin everywhere um 
but it's what God sees in us that the way we react to to it, the way we you know take actions is what God sees and what He decides whether if not you know um, He will bless you or not. You know what I mean? Because you know you can be one of those guys that just commits to finding trying to find God for a couple weeks or you know goes to church for maybe a month and that's it but it's it's more than that it's it's you actually day in and day out seeking God being grateful for for every day because if you when you really start like digging deep into like life you know what I mean like I I sometimes I, I think about this and I'm like the real reason for religion or for Christianity for anything I mean, yeah, it's to live a moral life. It's to live a healthy life. It's to not li- live a life, you know, try to be as sinless as possible. But it's mostly because of the afterlife, you know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, the sad truth is we're all going to die. You know what I mean? We're, none of us are um, immortal, you know? So, um, you know, that's our preparation. And that's why we need to seek God. And God will bless us. He'll, he knows, like, the struggles that we go through day in and day out on earth. But he knows that eventually, whenever your time has come, that you'll go up there with him and you'll be happy and you'll be, you know, um, and, you know, with him and all the pain and suffering will go away. Um, but when he sees that you're, you're struggling and you're suffering, but yet you're still, you know, um, uh, praising him and, and having faith in him, he'll bless you. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, and it's just there's so much more meaning to it. And I think that's the number one thing I recommend if you're going to depression is to find God, find God's love. Once you have God's love, nothing else really matters, honestly. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys enjoy the video. I'm sorry if I sound like crap. Um, yeah, I hope I get better pretty soon because I, I hate being sick. Like, I like I can't I can't just be like home. Uh, all day i have to be active i i tried to go to the gym today i was only there for like 10 15 minutes and i just like oh, i need to get out of here i just felt so weak and, and uh, tired so um but yeah i hope i get better um i hope you guys are having an, a great week i hope you guys are crushing it i hope you guys are chasing your goals um let me know in the comments or you can send me a message on instagram um I'll leave all my links down below. I'll leave my link to my Instagram and I'll leave my link tree. Um, and on the link tree, you'll have like a bunch of like cool, cool links I left. Uh, one of them is actually, if you like this shirt, it's called Whole Strength. It's a Christian workout gear. Um, you can click on it. I love this tank top. Um, every time I go to the gym, I always, I always get compliments on it. And um, yeah, some cool gear if you want to get some. Um, there's also going to be a Weeble. Actually, that's pretty cool. I, I just found this out, but Weeble is actually giving 4.1% uh, interest for your cash just sitting on their on their platform now. So um, that's pretty cool. Um, way more than the banks. The banks, I think, only give like 0.01. I don't know. It's like, it's literally nothing. So uh, if you have just some cash and sitting somewhere and you want to get into trading, you can use my Weeble link and it will give you, I think, up to 12 uh free stocks um all you have to do is deposit at least one dollar um what else is there my real estate account if you are thinking about buying or selling whether it's now in the future it doesn't matter if you speak spanish english i would love to help you um whether it's a family relative it doesn't matter um or if you're thinking about you know that you want to buy sometime soon and you have some questions you can always message me on instagram um or i think on that real estate page my number is there so you can <coughs> text me or email me um yeah i mean there's just you can check it out there's a bunch of cool stuff there but i uh, hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i'll see you guys in the next video